Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a quick but fairly detailed video uh, around recording or playing guitar uh, with real-time effects processing as opposed to uh, uh, playing it with uh, just a dry signal uh, or recording it with a dry signal. Um, that's useful for some projects where you want to be able to manipulate it post recording, apply different effects in that, but sometimes you uh, just uh, want to put down a quick recording and you want to be able to hear uh, what the effect is right away, how it's going to sound, or you might just want to jam over uh, a backing track, a backing rhythm track. So here typically, I mean group A will have uh, a rhythm track, drum track that I put down uh, and group B I uh, would use for my guitar. Right? And you see here often I mean we would go straight to record mode where we can set our external connection up uh, our input and then uh, check our, our meter level Right. With monitoring on, I can see that I've got a dry signal coming in there. The problem with this mode is that I can't get a, a plug-in, a VST plug-in to, uh, to be part of that uh, signal. So, the way to uh, set that up uh, is uh, to focus on the modules. So that's what I want to do next. Um, and then just cover quickly how to, uh, once we could play with uh, real-time effects, uh, show how we could uh, make uh, record with those effects as well. So if we look at the modules, uh, and just before we do that, I'm just going to make sure that I turn the monitoring off uh, of this ex uh, external channel in record mode, just so I know uh, that I've got the new connection working. So I can see that. I can hear my guitar now. So uh, module one, uh, it's always reserved for sampler and input. We want to select input we're setting up a new input basically our source uh, for me it's a external in one and now I can hear the connection is working and it's still dry the sound uh, slot one is changed uh, its name to input uh, in module two I'll select my plugin guitar rig so I have that loaded and I'll open it up and select uh, a setting <coughs> and we, see, and we see that I have those um, levels are working so now that's it basically I've got I've got my guitar, my guitar signal feeding in the machine with guitar rig going. Uh, now the important thing here is it if you're if you're going to record, um, do not uh, just start recording here. You'll reset uh, sound slot one and you'll have to start all over if you record uh, into a different sound slot. You'll have to set this all up. So uh, what you're supposed to do is leave, now you have this connection set up, leave that there and use one of these remaining slots to record if that's what you want to do. Um, and just on a side note, uh, what I do 
is now I'm going to um, reset that completely just to show you I don't even um, necessarily have to use the same group uh, I have uh, I can use a separate group uh, I've given it a name VST effects uh, I've set up my input and my my plugin here and given the actual even this uh, sound slot a name uh, distortion and now I still have uh, the input still there but I I don't have to worry about uh, recording over that sound slot it doesn't really matter uh, I suppose which way you do it uh, you just have lots of options this way you can you can have them all um, a number of different uh, setups uh, done and then you can switch back and forth between them uh, a little quicker perhaps um, so finally to get to recording it's fairly simple now you can either record uh, direct <coughs> Uh, and that's what's happening here. It's still a dry signal, and that's what I would be recording into the sound slot. Um, but if I want to record with the effects, I would switch it to internal, uh, find my my sound input channel that I created, and that's it. You can see the levels are a lot higher. So if I record that. is and if we check it out and that's it um, I so again it, it was very confusing for me for some reason because I think um, there's a couple places where you can end up uh, kind of screwing up and then ending up back at where you started and wondering why you're not getting a signal again. Uh, so it's basically making sure that you just set your connection up using your modules rather than using the record mode. That's the main thing. Once you've done that, you, you can do whatever you want, basically. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, take care, guys. Ciao.